Hey everybody, today I want to ask the question, is it worth getting into helium hotspot mining today in September of 2022? My general answer is no, but uh, recently I got this message here that, hey, you can get a black spot from Minted for $179. Now let's just assume that uh, after tax and shipping, it's going to be at least $200. Still, the question is, is it worth getting into helium hotspot mining? You could pay $200 and be, well, off and running, getting uh, HNT on a daily basis. Is it worth it? Mm, well, let's think about it. First of all, uh, I don't know if you're basing it on how much HNT is worth right now. Uh, just a couple days ago, it was at 4.5. It went down below 4 in the 3s, and now it's at uh, 5.44. If I look at the uh, market number on uh, on Helium's website, it shows the Oracle price is 5.13. Uh, that's probably if you go to sell it, you'll get it around 5. So let's just say H&T is five dollars right now so my first thought is well you're going to spend at least another hundred dollars on a good antenna for it to work but let's just forget about that for a second let's assume you're not let's assume it's just spending that two hundred dollars right there uh if you take that two hundred dollars and you just say hey you know what i'm gonna invest it in hnt you could get 40 HNT right now. Now, is that a good thing? Well, how long is it going to take you to get 40 HNT uh, using this device? I'm going to look for a second, and this is <laughs> this is not uh, one to one numbers, but uh, this is my uh, main helium hotspot miner. I've had this one the longest. It's always done the best and certainly it has a way better antenna than what that miner has but let's not worry about that at that this point. Let's just assume this is what you have if you buy for $200 and uh, right now for, it takes me about 30 days to get 5 HNT. So 30 days to get 5 HNT, we're talking about getting 40 HNT. So eight months, eight months to get your money back and then you start making even more money. Well, that doesn't sound bad. Of course, like I said, this has the nicest uh, directional antenna focusing on downtown Denver on a... Uh, well, uh, close to a mountain. <laughs> We're close to a mountain, but I won't say this is a mountain. We're on a hill, uh, but I get uh, very good um, witnessing where I am. If I were to look, say, at these numbers on average earnings, you can see average earnings are for the network are somewhere around, well, looking on the average there, it goes between 0.9 to 0.8, and here there's 0.66. I'm, I'm going to assume a 0.8 for a second. So assuming a 0.8 is what you'll earn on a daily basis, and assuming you can even get those average numbers, let's do 0.8 times 30. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's 0.08 times 30. Because if you look over here, I'm just going to put it over here again. 0 0.0, yeah, uh, times 30, we're looking at 2.4 in a month, uh, 2.4 in a month, we are trying to get 40, and assuming that that rate stays, which usually we're talking about diminishing returns when it comes to HNT, uh, still, we'll just assume that 2.4, and that will take about 17 months, Woo! 17 months. Is it worth the wait? I would say no. But hey, if you are in a good location and can get what I'm getting, more like 5 HNT a month, and you can get it in 8 months, 
maybe it's worth it. But again, you're not going to do it with the default antenna that this black spot has. So you'll more likely spend another $100. Quite honestly, I say just invest. If you want that, uh, that HNT, just invest that $200 instead of uh, doing it this way. That's my personal opinion. Now, all that being said, I had to say here for a second, ooh, but it's 5G ready. Were the old ones 5G ready? Actually, were they 5G ready? I have a lot of the version 2s, and when I went in and right here and looked at the Rack Hotspot version 2s, it says upon certification, which I don't, are they certified? I have no idea. Hotspots as well as Rack Hotspot V2s with 4 gigabytes of RAM can be upgraded to run 5G. So, yeah, you know, they are going to get all this equipment here uh, to to make it uh, 5G uh, to connect to it. Probably not this because it says it's all in one. But, uh, yeah, theoretically we could uh we could do 5g with the current uh version 2 rack hotspot miners so why would i pay 200 dollars after tax and shipping to get this my answer is i i wouldn't honestly i have i have not had a great time these days with helium mining we all know uh numbers are not great these days uh, I remember when I started around this time last year, we were somewhere around $12 per HNT, and then went up to 20 and then went all the way up to like 55 before this gigantic drop. So, you know, the benefit is, hey, you never know. Uh, things start getting better in our economy. Could be going up to 55 maybe 100 again in the future. Uh, but that being said, maybe now's the time to invest, not uh by miners also at the numbers we're talking about where are you going to put more than one miner uh, are you going to put it at your friend's houses uh, are they going to allow you to have that are they going to allow you to put an antenna on their roof are you going to pay for their internet service right now um, we're in a better situation because we're talking about lot light hotspots these days they're not using as much data as they were in the past you don't have to worry about configuring a particular open port to get them to work uh this is a better situation i had a bad situation recently though uh so i it's just not worth paying for someone's internet when you're getting like a 5 h and t a month uh like in this case what does it say it says it's basically $27.47. Their internet's going to cost way more than that. Uh, so I got all of my miners back from people who were hosting them. I had to reallocate uh, uh, them to closer locations to the house. And, oh my God, that's that's like $10.50. That means it's at least 2 h and t And it's going to take me a while to get that back. Now, this is my best hotspot, uh, and my other hotspots don't do nearly as well. Maybe they get three h and in a month. So hopefully I will get my money back uh, in a month from moving those hotspots and putting them somewhere they can make me money, but uh, who knows? It's a frustrating situation. Hey, here's something I want to show you. This is... Uh, this is uh, the air aware uh, element. Uh, I got this initially because I was excited. I wanted to, uh, you know, get my uh, Type Four license from Planet Watch and start getting those Planet Watch tokens. It was gonna be so great. Uh, so I bought this back in January, thinking it was so worth it. Uh, you may notice uh, that the sensor is not available to work with Type 4 anymore. Why? Well, first of all, the Type 4 licenses back then, uh, they, they, there was no licenses to activate it. They, they stopped selling Type 4 licenses. And then they said, oh, okay, well, um, some of you who have these uh, will we'll allow them 
uh, allow you to buy licenses for them. But then this whole fiasco uh, with uh, Aware Element happened. Uh, there was a lot of yelling and back and forth between Planet Watch and Airware. And it basically came to the point where they, they should just say, like, uh, we, you, we can't use them. The response to Airware statements. I'm not even going to show you their statements. Uh, th this fiasco, as you can see, occurred at the end of March. And uh, now I just, you know, this... I, I have no use for this for making me money, but, uh, you know, it, it lets me know that, uh, my, <laughs> my, um, air in my room is always unhealthy. So yay. Time to buy some plants or maybe kick out some of these, uh, pets that are destroying my air. No, I don't think my cats are doing that, but that's a different story. Okay. Uh, so Point being, everyone, uh, if you are interested in um, making HNT, uh, sure, it's possible to make a little bit still, but, um, geez, just, just in October, uh, almost uh, a year ago, I was making over 30 HNT in a month, and now it's five. These are diminishing returns. Um, that said, people are giving up and they're, they're stopping their use of, uh, you know, helium hotspot mining. And because of that, uh, hopefully things might stay a little more steady. Uh, for those of you who are looking to make money on, which was my interest when I, I saw this miner on 5G, uh, um, you know what, I'm going to, yeah, let's talk about this for a second. So I thought about it too. Uh, in my location, however, let's just say where my house is, uh, really, how far does 5G travel? Not that far. If I were to be living right there, where the middle of this hex is, 5G makes it probably to the end of the hex in all directions. Um, so basically, uh, it's just going to hit the houses on the streets around me here and none of them might need that 5g it might it, it's just uh, quite frankly i don't think it's worth it uh unless and this is the irony you live in a downtown area so previously all of these guys who are dealing with the fact that there's 20 other miners around them here yeah but there's so many houses and if they're in an area with um commercial properties around them people needing 5g access maybe it's worth it also consider the fact that uh, a lot of these uh 20 for example um they're not up and running anymore this one isn't this one isn't i mean just look at the zeros to know right but let's say one two three uh four five six seven seven out of twenty are now defunct so maybe it's something to think about uh, maybe there isn't so much saturation and also out of that 7 out of 20 so 13 that are running I bet most of those don't have 5g capabilities so if you are into this and you are in a heavy downtown area with a lot of people maybe it is worth looking into 5g I'm not saying you need to buy this one right here uh, that says it is 5G ready. I don't know how much more you're going to have to pay to get 5G up and running. But if you live in an area where uh, a lot of people will be able to get that 5G reception, uh, maybe it's worth it. All right, food for thought. Uh, thank you for watching. I am going to start talking about some other things. Uh, recently, I got into real estate in the last five years. Uh, I have two rental houses, and I just started an Airbnb in Chicago. Um, I also do other sort of side businesses with 3D printing, and I'm definitely going to talk about some of those other ways you can make money as opposed to just, well, um, getting HNT. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.